Artists like to share stories about sparks of inspiration that motivate them to create. When it comes to HBO's new adaptation of his Dark Materials, that spark happens to be one very distressing flight. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, his Dark Materials executive producer Jane Tranter revealed that a terrifying experience while flying was behind her push to bring Philip Pullman's popular fantasy novel series to the small screen. The incident happened around five years ago while Tranter was on a flight from Los Angeles to New York. During the flight, a silence fell over the passengers as the plane began to quickly lose altitude. As Tranter tells it, the pilots jumped into action and prepared to make an emergency landing in Chicago. Tranter became emotionally overwhelmed, too afraid to finish the work she was doing. So she turned to her Kindle instead. To comfort herself, Tranter began reading the end of Pullman's The Amber Spyglass, the final book in the author's best-selling His Dark Materials trilogy. Tranter told the LA Times, the books are so spiritual, and they have got so much to say about our human mortality and what death means and separation. It took me to another world." The experience convinced Tranter to follow up on the rights of Pullman's books, a curiosity that led her straight into the offices of New Line Cinema. The studio had already attempted to adapt the books to film in 2007, but ultimately dropped those plans after the first installment, The Golden Compass, underperformed both critically and at the box office. The Twilight Saga New Moon director Chris Weitz helmed and wrote that particular Pullman adaptation, which cost the studio $180 million to make but only earned around $70 million domestically, with most of its box office takings coming from overseas. The Golden Compass also faced hurdles beyond its inability to draw a crowd. For example, Pullman's books were fiercely critical of both the Catholic Church and Christianity in general. Philip Pullman is a known atheist. He's been known to be pushing on kids for a long time. He put out a DVD, for example, in England that says, Why Atheists? As a result, they became the subject of intense debate and scrutiny by some religious audiences, and the 2007 movie was no different. The story was so controversial that, in the year after the film's shaky release, The Golden Compass landed in the American Library Association's list of top 10 books that individuals and organizations had attempted to have banned in the United States. New Line attempted to curb some of this reaction to the film by watering down the film's religious content, but other critics and audiences seemed to think that decision hurt more than it helped the narrative. Despite a less-than-stellar box office turnout and the controversy surrounding the original movie, Tranter convinced studio executives that Pullman's fantasy could live again on the small screen. She and the rest of the His Dark Materials team were able to persuade not only New Line executives that the television adaptation was worth the risk, but also several high-profile stars, including James McAvoy, Ruth Wilson, and Lin-Manuel Miranda. It's a win Tranter attributed to another popular HBO adaptation, which helped make the case that an elaborate fantasy like Pullman's could both be done and be well-received. Tranter explained, Game of Thrones really did that job for me. Not many movies that struggle at the box office get a second chance on the small screen, and Tranter took a risk with his dark materials. But it seems that her leap of faith has paid off in kind as response to the small-screen adaptation has been stellar so far. Holding an 84% critical rating and a 92% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes, his Dark Materials is being praised for its impressive performances, strong visuals, and its ability to capture the spirit of Pullman's original novels. One critic even wrote that the show is, "...proof that TV is now the best medium for bringing epic literary fantasy to the screen." Almost makes that death-defying flight worth it, don't you think? Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.